asanteni sana Tuzamie masuala ya Afrika Mashariki ambapo bunge la Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki linataka mataifa wanachama kuwekeza nguvu ya pamoja katika kuimarisha usalama katika ukanda wa Afrika Mashariki ikiwa ni pamoja na wito wa kudhibiti na kumaliza mzozo wa mashariki mwa Jamhuri ya Kidemokrasia ya Kongo unaohusisha waasi wa M23 DRC na Rwanda kwa upande mwingine Mapendekezo hayo yanatolewa na watunga sheria wa jumuiya hiyo katika mkutano wa bunge la tano unaofanyika mjini Bunjumbura nchini Burundi. Rajabur Hassan anaarifu zaidi. Mwenyekiti wa jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki na Rais wa Jamhuri ya Burundi Everest Ndayeshimie wiki iliyopita amefungua bunge la tano la jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki. Hotuba yake imegusia mambo muhimu hasa kuimarisha amani na usalama. The summit initiative on peace and the security in DRC and ultimately in our East African partners. In this regard, I'd like to thank all the head of states of East African community member states who are committed to help East DRC to recover peace. And also, I congratulate the former president, Uhuru, who is working very hard so that we can recover peace in East Africa, in East DRC. Jamhuri ya Kongo, mwanachama mpya katika jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki, ni kielelezo cha ukosefu wa usalama katika ukanda. Hata hivyo hoja za watunga sheria hawa ni kwa nguvu za kijeshi si mwafaka wa amani ya kudumu mashariki mwa DRC. The long term solution to the question of peace and security in the DRC is a political one. We should not pretend that military solution is a sustainable one. Political questions are responded to through political solutions. As we deploy, we call upon the community to have a very robust mechanism through which we can constructively engage with the different stakeholders. Mwenyekiti wa baraza la mawaziri wa Afrika Mashariki Balozi Ezekiel Nibigira amesema baraza linafanya kila liwezalo kuhakikisha amani na mwafaka mashariki mwa DRC. Bunge la Jumuiya Afrika Mashariki linafanya vikao vyake mjini Bujumbura katika wakati ambao taifa la Burundi lenye watu takribani milioni 12 linapona na kuimarika kutoka vikwazo, maskini na ukosefu wa usalama. Rajabu Hassan, KTN News. Tukitoka Bunjumbura turudi humo nchini ambapo wa Kenya 